Hi everyone, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this dogwood flower motif. And today's sponsor of this video is Carl Foot, and more of them later in the video. Okay, let's get started. <music> here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet the dogwood flower motif and this is part one of the dogwood motif the second part will be how to how to um, make the vest or the top so you would basically make a whole bunch of these little dogwood motifs and then join them together as we go um, so yeah the dogwood motif is actually a flower um, Funny enough, like, it was such a weird name and I decided to Google it and it turns out it is a flower, a type of flower, which I thought was actually quite interesting. Um, but yeah, so let's get onto the materials in order to make this cute little dogwood flower motif. Okay, so as for the yarn, I'll be using this Keysmit Risa, it is 100% pure cotton and um it is a 50 gram ball or it's 100 meters as i said it's 100 percent pure cotton it recommends a three and a half millimeter crochet hook but for the purpose of this video we'll be using a two millimeter crochet hook um this is just to get those those uh, really tight stitches and just to make the dogwood motif look a little bit better <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not sure how many balls of these we'll be using. I will definitely put the amounts in the description box below. Um, so yeah, so that is the yarn. As I said, you'll also be needing a 2mm crochet hook. You'll be needing a darning needle and a pair of scissors. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so to get started, you just want to take your yarn and again your 2mm crochet hook. And we are going to make a slip knot. So the way we do that is take our thing, our yarn, wrap it around our two fingers to form an X like that, and then take a hook and insert under the first loop. Pick up the second loop. Take your your tail end and your working yarn and pull that tight like that. Okay. Okay. So to begin, we're going to chain five. So to chain, we are going to yarn over and pull through. That's one chain, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, so I've done three so far. So I need two more. Yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through. Okay, now we have five chains, as you can see. So what you would want to do is insert into the first chain insert into the first chain and then yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook to do a slip stitch okay <clears throat> so we just slip stitched to join and now we should be left with a little circle so as you can see there's a there's a big hole in the center and then that little hole is where we went into to slip stitch that's our first chain we're not going to go into there we're going to go into the center of the chain five. Okay, so we are going to chain up three, one, two, and three, which counts as a double crochet. Okay, so we are going to be doing four double crochets into the chain. Okay, so a double crochet is a yarn over, insert into the middle of the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's one double crochet. Now we need to do that three more times. This chain here at the beginning counts as a stitch. So initially we will have five double crochet stitches at the end of this. Okay. So that's one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That's that's three stitches technically speaking, <laughs> even though we have two double crochet stitches. So again, we're going to yarn over, insert into the chain five loop, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay, so now we have four in total. We need to do one more. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one section done. We then need to we then need to chain four. So we're going to yarn over, pull through. That's one, two, three, and four. So now we chain four. Okay, and then we place another five double crochets into the chain five space. Okay, so again we yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now it should look something like this. And then again, we chain four. So it's one, two, three, and four. And again, we do that again, placing five double crochets into the center chain five. And we repeat that until we have four sets of five double crochets. So that's four. I need to do one more. Five. Okay, again we chain four. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> and then again we do five double crochets into the chain five space so let's insert let's see let me do that again so it's yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through two again okay so that's one two three four and five okay and then to just finish this off you'll chain four one two three and four and then find the top of your chain so that's one two three four and then the chain here is your fifth stitch so you would just insert into the top going under both of those loops of the stitch like that and then yarn over pull through and then yarn over uh, well not yarn over <laughs> but pull through the loop on your hook okay so let me just do that again for you okay so you would chain four one two three and four okay and then you would insert into the top of the chains or the on the top of the chain stitch and then yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook Okay, so now it should look something like this. So we have we should have four chain four spaces and five groups of double crochets. Okay, so not five, four groups of five double crochets. <laughs> okay, so you can if you have worked over your tail end like what I did, you can just pull on that tail a bit and it will cinch the middle closed a little bit more. Like that. Okay, so that's it. So now back to our sponsor. Carl Foots is a local South African company who produces outwear products. Their most popular products is the foot kicks. They are like socks, but shoes. They are made from breathable, they are made from breathable fabric. They are comfortable, breathable, soft, non-slip and used for sport. They come in various sizes and patterns. If you're not sure what size would fit you best, you can follow the measurement guidelines and the table on their website. They even come in tot sizes for kids. They come in various patterns and sizes. Their microfiber towels are amazing. They have various patterns. 
They even have hoodie towels for kids. The microfabel towels are quick drying, lightweight and compact. It is also machine washable. The rash vests are perfect for surfing. They are good quality. The fabric is last longing. The fabric is also UV protected and the flat locking stitching seams prevent chafing against the skin. They are also quick drying, stretchy and lightweight and they fit close to the skin. They give a comfy look and feel in and out of the water. You can also return or exchange an item with a shipping fee of just 85 Rand. You can exchange for a different size or product. Their refund policy states what can or cannot be, be returned. The shipping is just fantastic. The shipping and the service is just great. I had ordered a pair of foot kicks on Tuesday night um, around 10 o'clock and on their website it says that the delivery or the expected delivery with, would be between three to five business days. So since I placed my order on Tuesday night and it was going to take three days to five days, um, I thought that I was going to receive my foot kicks and my microfiber towel on the Friday. But to my surprise, the very next day I got an email to say that I will be getting my order on Thursday. So the shipping is very, very fast, it's very reliable, the service is just absolutely great. And um, also, um, my foot kicks are like a little bit big for me. I'm normally a size 9, um, and normally if I wear a size 8, it's like a bit too small for my foot and it like kind of hurts my feet. Um, so normally I'm a size 9, majority of the times. And on their website it mentions to just buy the normal size that you wear. So I bought a size 9 but sadly it was a little bit too big, like it was baggy around my heel. Um, so, so it wasn't like a tight fit and the foot kicks are supposed to be nice, snuggly and they're supposed to fit close around your heel and your ankle. And yeah, mine was a bit baggy around my heel so I asked, um, I went on their website and I filled in an exchange form to exchange it to a size 6 and 7 since my shoe size that I picked was 7, seven or 8 so I picked size 6 or 7 um, and I had to select which one um, most related to the foot kicks or the product that I was returning and the one was um, it has been used but I would like to return it I've used it a few times but I'd like to return it for a different size or exchange it and I had to select images um, and, and send it to them or upload it onto their website um, or on the exchange portal. And um, I had used pictures that, I've, that I took when I first got the shoes. And only after the fact that I filled in the form and got a confirmation email about, uh, about my foot kicks uh, that will be returned and exchanged for another pair, um, I realized that the vinyl on the back of of the heel of the shoe um, was coming off so I thought that because the vinyl was coming off they won't be able to resell it so I sent them an email I'd let them know that the foot cakes are actually uh, like damaged or whatever the vinyl's coming off and to my surprise they were like no it's fine don't worry we will still send you a new pair and everything and um, I was originally charged 85 Rand to send back the shoes um, which isn't bad and um, and because of that defect they it was basically free of charge so I'm getting an, an exchange for a different size free of charge because of the vinyl coming off which is absolutely amazing service and they they also respond very quickly 
um so within uh, a day like if you send like within the same day or the next day they normally respond to your email or your message um so it's it's very very good um but yeah so if you want to get your own pair of foot kicks or a microfiber towel or even a rash vest click this link over here and use this discount code and you can get five percent off of your next purchase the links uh, the links and the discount code will all be in the description box below okay let's carry on with the video the first round done so now the second round we're going to chain up three again one two three but now we're going to do basically five double crochets together the chain one um like counts but doesn't really count for this one <laughs> like it counts but okay you'll get what i mean okay so we're gonna do basically we're gonna double crochet the next four stitches together okay so we're gonna yarn over <coughs> insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two we'll stop there we'll have two loops on our hook we're gonna yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops so now you should have three loops on your hook yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops you'll stop there you'll have four loops on your hook yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops stop there you'll have five loops on your hook and then you'll yarn over and pull through all five of those loops to close off the double crochet the five double crochets together so you'll yarn over and pull through all through all of those five loops like that and then we will chain seven Okay, so now we've chained seven and then we're going to single crochet into the chain four space. So a single crochet is just inserts, yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. Again, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then again we'll do the five double crochets together. So we'll yarn over insert into the first stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook okay to do your double crochet you'll have two loops left on your hook and again we'll yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through those first two loops yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops we'll stop there we'll have four stitches four loops on our hook then we'll yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through the first two loops. We'll have five loops on our hook, then we need to do one more. So it's yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through those first two loops. Okay, it should look something like this. So we should have one, two, three, four, five double crochets, but we should have six loops on our hook. So you'd want to yarn over and pull through all six of those loops on our hook like that okay and you just repeat that again so you'll chain seven one two three four five six and seven and then you'll single crochet into the next chain four space so you'll insert yarn over pull three you'll have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through those two loops chain seven one two three four five six and seven okay and then you would do your five double crochets together okay so it's sorry let me do that again so it's yarn over insert into the first stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through the first two loops you'll stop there we'll have two loops on our hook we're going to yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through the first two loops We'll have three loops on our hook, then yarn over again, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through the first two loops. We'll have four loops on our hook. Then again, yarn over, 
turn into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Okay, we need to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through those first two loops. Like that. And then again, it's yarn over and pull through all of those loops on your hook. Okay, and then again, you do chain seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we single crochet into the chain four space over there. So again, it's insert, yarn over, pull through. We'll have two loops on a hook, yarn over, and pull through two. Again, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we have one more double crochet, five to we have one more five double crochets together to do. So again, it's yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, stop there, we'll have two loops on our hook, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Okay. <coughs> You should then have four loops on our hook, then a yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the first two loops. One more time, so then a yarn over, insert into the next, the last stitch, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Okay, there is all of our six loops on our hook, so then we're going to yarn over, pull through all of those six loops on our hook. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then single crochet into the first stitch or into the chain four space. Okay, and then we are going to chain seven again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we will now slip stitch to the top chain there so we'll slip stitch at the top of the five double crochets together so we'll insert yarn over pull through and then pull through that loop on your hook to do a slip stitch okay so that's what it should be looking like so far and now the last thing to do is just do nine single crochets into each of the chain seven spaces and then it will it will neaten off these loops okay so going to chain one just for leverage the chain one does not count as a stitch it's just for leverage we'll insert into the chain seven space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two to do your single crochet we repeat that nine times so it's insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the two loops that's two yarn insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the two loops that's three insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two that's four Yeah. So you need to do that far nine times, sorry, that's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oops. Nine. Okay. And then moving on to the next chain seven space. We're not gonna chain one or anything, we're just gonna go straight into the next stitch and continue with our nine single crochets. So that's two, three, let me do that one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you just repeat this all the way around, placing nine single crochets into each chain seven space all the way around. So you get back round to the beginning and then I'll show you how to join. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So you can just go off and place your nine single crochets into each chain seven space. And I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to join and end off this motif. Okay, so now I have made a background to the beginning again 
So now what you'd want to do is just slip stitch to the first stitch. So insert your hook into the first single crochet that you did, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the, the other loop on your hook there to do your slip stitch. And then you would just snip your yarn, like what I have done already. So you just snip your yarn and then pull your tail end through like that. So that's what the little dogwood motif looks like now. So what we're going to do is just take our darning needle and just sew in our tail end. Okay, so you just want to take your tail end and your darning needle and you just want to thread your needle. So you just want to thread your yarn onto your needle and then just insert through the same stitch that you came out of and then turn to the back of your work and then just thread your tail your tail in in through some of the single crochet stitches at the back yeah just insert your needle under those stitches and pull that through like that okay you can do it for this other petal here as well And then once you're happy, then you can take your scissors and just cut, cut your tail off. And we can also just cut the center one if you have, if you have already worked over it, then you can cut it here. If you haven't already, then you can just sew it in. So yeah, you just want to cut that off. And then I'm just going to cut the shorter here because... And this is where I joined my yarn. Okay, like that. Okay, so there is our little dogwood motif. Um, so that's it for part one on how to crochet the little cute dogwood crochet motif. Um, so yeah, if you want to make the top, um, then you can head over to part two where I'll show you how to join all of these little motifs together to form a top. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to crochet this cute little dogwood motif. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your crocheting. If you want to get your own pair of foot kicks or a microfiber towel or even a rash vest, click this link over here and use this discount code and you can get 5% off of your next purchase.